Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sean Green Show. I'm Sean Green. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Monday morning? All I'm going to say is this. I'm, I mean, what happened, Dallas? All I'm going to say is this. What happened, what happened, Dallas? You see how this is why I get on, why a lot of people get on Dallas Cowboy fans. Dallas Cowboys are Cowboy fans. Read the why because y'all talk so much. Then what? Then when y'all get when y'all have games like y'all had yesterday, all of a sudden you're quiet. All of a sudden you're quiet. You don't hear. You don't see nothing. I'm be honest. I've been saying this. I've been saying this. A lot of people have been saying you. You, you know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about. Dallas stinks, and you saw it yesterday. I mean. Damn, y'all got blown out, forty-seven to nine, forty-seven to nine. At home, on your owner's birthday, you got blown out. It's even more evidence now. Your defense stinks, even though you can't say you got a lot of injuries on defense. You can't say that you have a lot of injuries on defense. But that still doesn't matter. This is the NFL. Players will step the up. I'm being real here. You, I mean, your team stinks. You can't stop the run. You can't run with a crap. Yeah, what? What, uh, what 14, 14, 15 yards rushing in one half for the whole game? You had 53 yards rushing? That's sad. Here was even more sadder about the situation. The Lions never punted the entire game. Y'all believe me, we watched the game. The Detroit Lions now one time punted. That's sad. That is damn sad. They was doing whatever they was doing, whatever they want to on the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, this is freaking pathetic. And y'all have what? And you have what? Five turnovers? Five turnovers. I'm, I'm gonna say this. You didn't make no you didn't make no moves in the offseason. You didn't pick up nobody in the offseason. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, Ezekiel Elliott. He stinks. He's even more sure he stinks. You need to get rid of Mike McCarthy. You give him Mike McCarthy. You need a new head coach. Period. Period. And I'm gonna say this. I like Jerry Jones. He's probably one of the greatest owners in NFL history. I would say that. He would go down the Hall of Fame. I would say that. I'll give him the respect he deserves. He is. But Jerry needs to sit down and retire. He needs to sit down, he needs to sit down and retire or hire an actual general manager. I'm going to be a Debbie dead honest. The Cowboys stink. Y'all stink. You are 0-3 at home this season. Let me say this again. You're 0-3 at home this season. You, I mean... Your defense, your defense can't even stop a cold. Your offense, I mean, damn, your offense is garbage. You need somebody else besides C.D. Lamb. I'll be real, I'll be real here. There was double the C.D. Lamb all day, all day for real. You need somebody else besides C.D. Lamb. That Prescott, that Prescott doesn't 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 deserve an extension. You've seen that so far this year, so far. I mean, damn. I mean, I, I mean. Sh- if y'all make the playoffs this year, it'll be a miracle. It'll be a miracle. And I'm being honest. I'll be dead honest. Dallas stinks. I mean, I mean, y'all couldn't even, I mean, third down, y'all your third down efficiencies, y'all were just sad, man. Three for 13. Three for 13. That that got 100, 198 passing yards. I mean, I mean, that's that's just, just sad. That's just sad. The Lions have 492 total offense. 492 total offense. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, y'all, the Lions quarterback looked like Tom Brady last night. I'm going to be real. I'm going like to be real here. I'm going to be dead serious real. I mean, I don't, hey, y'all need this. Y'all, y'all got a bye week. You need, y'all, y'all need this bye week for real. Y'all really, really do. But I'm going to be honest. With Dallas right now, after after the um after after the bye week, I don't know. You got bye week seven, then you at San Francisco. Y'all gonna lose that game. Y'all gonna lose that game because because Christian McCaffrey may come back. And if he is coming back, 
Y'all gonna lose again. Y'all can't have the run. That's a loss right there. Then you're at Atlanta. Atlanta's gonna beat y'all. Then and and then on Sunday, November 10th, so never tell you at Philadelphia. That's a loss. Then 18th, you got Houston. That's gonna be a loss. I think look, Houston looking good this year. Then Washington, you may beat Washington on, on November 24th. You may beat Washington. You may beat Washington. Giants, that should be a win. Then, then, then on after the Giants, you got Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals. That's gonna be a loss. Carolina, that should be a win. Tampa Bay, that's a loss. Then, then the 29th, December 29th, you got uh, Philly. That's a loss. And then Sunday, January 5th, you got Washington. That's a uh. The way our schedule looking, the way our schedule is looking, I don't see how making the playoffs. I'll be real talk here. I don't see the Cowboys making the playoffs. The way the schedule is looking, I'm being serious here. You're going to get a lot of good teams. You got, you got, you got a lot of good teams. You got a lot of good teams. After, after the bye week, you got a lot of teams going to get a lot of damn good teams. San Francisco, Atlanta, Philly, Houston, Washington should be able to beat. China should be able to beat. Cincinnati, you should be able to. Carolina should be able to. But Tampa, Philly, and then Washington. I don't, I don't like our schedule. I really don't. There's a possibility y'all can lose. Y'all might not get the playoffs. I know some of y'all don't want to hear this. Don't want to hear this one now. But hey, you know what? Y'all need to make drastic changes in Dallas. Needs to be drastic changes. I mean, damn. This is this is this is guy. This is the worst loss y'all had at home. I mean, damn. It's just it's 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 it's, it's just unacceptable. Unacceptable for real. I mean, I'm, I'm not even a Cowboy fan, and I'm saying this. I'll be honest. I'll be dead honest, man. I mean, shh. It is, it, is, it is just not. I mean, damn. I'm going to say this, though. Detroit, man. Detroit. Woo-wee. Detroit looking good. I, and it stopped it off. They're my team's conference. They're, they're my team's conference, Green Bay. But damn, man. I mean, whew. Detroit, man, hey, 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 I'm going to say this, even though, even though the running game looked good, but you, y'all went against the team, whatnot, they can't set the run with a crap, with a crap, and that passing attack, which is awesome, defense is awesome, but hey, I feel sorry, I'm sorry for the top defensive guy, the way he injured his leg, nobody, I mean, that thing was gruesome, I had to cry when I saw that, he had to get, he had to get immediate surgery to fix that broken leg, He's done for the year, maybe even I'm I'm working on for I know this, maybe even partial next season. We ain't seeing for a minute, but that was gruesome. But hey, stuff like that sometimes happens in football. I'll be honest with you. I know some of y'all probably were like, "Oh my God, like this when we saw that injury," but stuff like that sometimes happens in football, man. It does. Hey, it it it, 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 it I sucked up to this dude. He was having a damn good season. I mean, a damn good year. A Pro Bowl like you on defense and damn. And and know the Lions, man, they're gonna try and win it for him, for real. They are gonna try and win it for him. But I'm gonna say this though, man. I mean, damn. I mean Cowboys, man. Cowboys, man, I mean y'all stink. Stink badly. I mean, damn. Damn, man. Y'all just mmm stink. For real, man, for real. For real, man. Hey, 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 for those of you about that who missed um other games, basically there was some other games yesterday that watch that they watch. Um yeah, the Bengals beat the Gi- Bengals beat the Giants 17 to 7. Giants stink. Giants were another sloppy game. The Falcons beat the Panthers 38 to 20. Yo, Atlanta's looking good, for real. Don't sleep on the Atlanta Falcons, yo. They're looking really good. Yeah, the Chargers beat the Broncos 20 to 3. 20 for 23. The Steelers beat the Raiders 32-13. Yo, Fields, man. Yo, my man Fields, yo, he's just, yo, Fields is just looking, yo, Fields looking good. He was 14, he, he completed 14 passes out of 24 attempts. 24 attempts, 145 yards. 145 yards, man, yo. Also, Fields had two rushing touchdowns. Two rushing touchdowns. He rushed two touchdowns. Fields looking good. I hate to say this, but... You say this, but Russell Wilson and probably Russell Wilson probably 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 never gonna start again. And I'm saying, if he wants to start, he, he needs to go somewhere else for real. And it, it's for real. and also Justin Fields is a perfect example of when you of when you move of, of when the player goes to somewhere else, 
they played better. First, when he was with Chicago, they wasn't they wasn't using him properly. But when he came when he came with the, came with the Pittsburgh, again, hey, hey, shh, they know how to use them, they know how to use them. They had a better system, and he's and he's just flourishing. He's just only gonna get better under Mike Tomlin. Hey, Russell Wilson, hey, I hate to say this, but he needs to go somewhere else, man. If he doesn't go somewhere else, he may be he may be a permanent backup. Keyword maybe. Depends upon depends upon where he goes, for real. But I doubt if you see Russell Wilson ever again. For real, for, real, for starting, for real, I'll be honest with you. As if a team if this, if this team is desperate to the want him. Because yeah, I think he is gonna be a free agent after this season, for real. For yeah, Steelers beat the Raiders thirty two to thirteen. My Packers beat the Cardinals 30, 34 to thirteen. Romeo Dowd found the end zone twice. He was suspended last week. We was suspended last week, went out by the team, but this but this week, man, he came back with a vengeance. Got got two TD just for up. Green Bay four and two. We got a big game coming up next week. We can come this Sunday against Houston. That's gonna be a big test. That's gonna be a huge, huge test for the Green Bay Packers, man. A huge test. A huge test for Green Bay. I think I think Green Bay is gonna be able to come out on top of this one. I think, we, I think we'll be able to come out on top of this one. But it's gonna be a huge test. Our defense got to step up for real. Road talk. You got the Texans beat the Patriots 41 to 41 to 12. Whew. Buccaneers beat the Saints 51 27. Eagles beat the Browns. Eagles beat the Browns 2016. And the Ravens beat the Commanders 30 30 23. Ravens look Ravens look good, man, for real. Bears beat the Jaguars 35 16. Yeah, 16, man, for real, hey, Chevy, mm. I mean, mm. hey, I will say this, man, say this, man, for real, Dallas stinks, long as Dallas stinks, man, for real, Dallas stinks, also, did I say about that, some of you who, who, who um, was watching Sunday Night Football, didn't watch it, my, hey, the New York Mets played Dodgers last night, I'm gonna say this, man, Flattery looking damn good, Flattery did a damn good seven shutout innings. Only allowed two hits. That was damn good pitching. I'm going to say this. That was damn good pitching. Yeah, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Detroit tried to trade Flattery to the Yankees, and Yankees didn't want him. Oh, he's injury prone, blah, blah, blah. We don't want him. Cool. So the Dodgers picked him up. He got he got the quarters of shots in his back. He was out for at least half of July. He came back. Look at him now. I know Yankees wish you had him, didn't you? Y'all wish I would have made a trade for him now. We trade for him now. We trade, trade for him. Hey, we'll find out if we find out if then the trade for him pays off or not. Pays off or not because because the um because the Yankees do do play today at seven thirty against Cleveland. That's gonna be a very tough game. Tough, very tough game for the New York Yankees. Cleveland is nobody to sleep on. They're a damn good baseball team. They're a good baseball team. They beat the Yankees during the regular season. I mean, the Yankees hitting got to step the hell up. Also, they're pitching, for real. Also, they're pitching, but the Mets, man, you can't keep having games like that. We got blown out 9 nothing, 9 nothing, man. We can't keep having games like that. I mean, damn. We got to step the up, man. Come on, man. Come on, Mets, man. Mets, the, Mets, the, the Mets play again today. Game two. Game two for that game. Game is... um. Today at four oh eight on Fox, go four eight at Fox, on um, Fox basically, and um, you know Fox basically, and and, and and right now, right now they don't, right now they don't got down who's pitching at. Yes, we'll find out, find out first pitch. But the Yankees, the Yankees will have, the Yankees will have Carlos Rendon in Game One. Guardians gonna, Guardians, Guardians gonna go to Alex Cobb, Alex Cobb for real in um, Game One, for real A. Come on, Mets, man. I mean, that was just, that was just, that was sad, man. That was sad. Nine nothing. I mean, nine nothing. Damn. But, hey, I give credit to do when it comes to damn good pitching, and that was damn good pitching by Flaggy, for real. Damn good pitching. Honestly, for real. Damn good pitching, for real. Honestly, I got to admit. Damn, damn good pitching, for real. All right, I'm switching, all right, I'm switching gears here. Or um, put your gears here for the well, not to the army NBA, NBA. Even though you know what, at first, at uh, first, I was criticizing JJ Redick basically being the head coach of the uh, Los Angeles Lakers. But, but I'm gonna say this though. But I'm gonna say this. 
Fisto. He's trying to bring something different, basically, something different, basically, to um, basketball. It's never been done before. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back and see if it actually works. He's trying to bring analytics to the NBA. I mean, I'm me personally, I'm not a big fan of analytics. Analytics, analytics for real. I'm, I, hey, I'm old school. I'm old school. Go to the gym, go to the gym, bust, go get and bust your ass. Excuse my language. We're talk. Put that work in practice, whatnot. You see it. You see it basically, whatnot. Um, on the court. That's what I. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I always. That's, that's what I always believe in for real. That's how I was brought up. I'm, hey, I'm old school basketball. But, but hey, he's trying to big analytics basketball. Trying to try to basically prove that um, you can use analytics, basic analytics. The um the double one basketball games be, be successful. Hey, I'm gonna say this: if it works, okay, go for it, go for it for real, go for real. Some hey, I'm gonna say this: some may like it, some may don't. For real, some you got some people that are, that are old school, basic old school like me that 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 will, they gonna put the work and say, "Don't care about analytics," and says, "Oh." Oh, according to analytics, but I shoot better over here. According to analytics, I shoot better over here. According to analytics, I didn't need to go more over here. Uh-uh. For real. Uh-uh. uh that, That's how some people live. But some people actually believe in analytics. I'm going to say this. If it works, hey. Hey, more power to him. But if it don't work, this could blow back in his face. And I'm going to be honest. It really, really could blow back in his face. For real. For real, because all the analytics in the world can teach a can teach a person how to shoot, can teach a person how to defend, can teach a person how to do this. It can't, it can't. That's my again. That's my personal opinion. Some people may like it, some people may don't. But I'm gonna be honest. But if you feel that that's gonna work, more power to you. Go right ahead. For real. Hopefully, hey, hopefully it does work. But if it don't, hey. Hey, I'm gonna say this. Hey, for also um NBA the 76ers are going to um sit down Joel Embiid for some preseason. That's smart. That's smart due to um 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 ankle his, his um ankle management. I think it's a smart move sitting him out because you need him to be fresh. You need to be fresh for the um regular fresh fresh for regular season, and and that's coming up October 22nd. You need him to be fresh for the regular season. You need a fresh Joel Embiid. He needs to be fresh for the regular season, honestly, man. That's one person you don't you you don't want to make sure um you get hurt. It, 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 it'll Joel Embiid. And I think I think it's also a smart move. I think it's a smart move that they um that, that they pick up Andrew Drummond. Andrew Drummond is he, he, he'll make a good back he'll make a good backup, good backup for Joel Embiid. He'll make a damn good backup for real. A damn good backup, honestly, man. I said man, for real, but hey, but I was a good, I was, I was a good backup for real, but hey, I mean, my, hey, my next man, I mean, mm. hey, uh, I don't know if you saw that preseason game last night, but Anthony Edwards put on a show. Anthony Edwards put on a show last night. I don't know if you saw that preseason game. They good game. They good preseason game. Yo, yo, it was, it was awesome. Anthony Edwards put on a damn good show for real. He really did. Also, oh, also, also the gears here. I'm happy this happened. Daniel Bryan, see, Daniel Bryan lost in wrestling dream, lost the title. He's officially a free agent. He's he free, 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 free agent. His wrestling, his wrestling career is done, basically. See, some, some of retired. He is going to get surgery on that neck. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. He needs to get surgery on that neck. He really does. Cause she was having shooting pains, can't sleep, whatnot, and Drake trying it all because of the neck, because of the neck. Basically, even though I give him credit though, this dude was wrestling since August without a contract. I mean, damn. Hey, I give him credit. Hey, he said he completed all his obligations. He is going to get um repair the surgery on his neck. Also, other injuries he had. He has a lot of damn injuries for real. I mean, damn, dude got a lot of injuries. But, but it does, but it doesn't rule out. That he may try and come back WWE. I don't think he can come back WWE, basically because, basically because WWE will be able to tell him, uh, uh-uh. uh, we don't want you to wrestle, but not because anyone wrestles because of injuries. Real talk, he needs to spend time with his family. That's what he needs to do. Sit down, spend time with your family, spend time with your family for real. 
that's what he really needs to do is sit back and spend as much time he can with his family, daughters, and them for real. He, I mean, he, that's what he really needs to do. I know he likes to wrestle. I know he, he, loves, he loves wrestling. He really does. But he needs to spend time with his family. Honestly, real talk. Sit down. Spend time with your family, man. Damn. I mean, Jesus, man. <sighs> spend time with your family, man, for real. Right, honestly, man. I mean, damn, man, for real. I mean, mm. Spend time, real talk, man, for real. Spend time, real talk with your family. Oh, just to let you know what not. Um, as you know, October twenty second is the opening day when uh, for NBA. Opening day it be October twenty second. It's gonna be on TNT and it's gonna be a double header. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a double header, double header. You got Knicks, Knicks and Boston at seven thirty, and Minnesota and Lakers at ten thirty. That's a loss right there. Minnesota versus Los Angeles Lakers at 10.30. That's a loss. I'm going to come off the rip. That's a loss. Because who does the Lakers... Get? Yeah, you got LeBron James and Anthony Davis, yes. But honestly, who else do you have that, who else do you have that can stop um, Julius Randle? Julius, Julius Randle, Julius Randle, the rest of them. For real. Honestly. I think, I think, I think it's going to be a loss right there. I mean, loss. It's going to be... At LA, they can get blown out. They can get blown out for real. Also, I'm gonna say this: this could be this probably might look like be the last year of NBA TNT. I know that sucks. Starting next season, starting next season, um, a lot of the NBA games could be on streaming services. Some are gonna be on NBC. Some are gonna be on streaming services. Some are gonna be on ABC. I know that sucks, but that's the way it is. Like streaming services paid a lot of money for real, a lot of money. For a lot of money for um the broadcasting rights, I know that sucks, man, for real. And hey, man, hey, hey, so this is hey, enjoy, enjoy TV, enjoy NBA on TV while you can, because after that, you gotta dish out some money, for real. You gotta dish, dish out some money, honestly, man, for real. Hey, got Monday Night Raw tonight. Monday Night Raw supposed to be good tonight, for real. Monday Night Raw was good tonight. You also got double headed baseball, um, f um, better baseball. On Fox at, at, at four o'clock on Fox, and then seven thirty on um, TBS. The Yankees, the Yankee um, Cleveland game could be at TBS at seven thirty. Hey, Monday Night Football tonight. You got Bills, Bills Jets. Should be a good one. Could be a good one for real. If the Jets win this game, they're in first place in the division. Hey, come on, Jets for real. Hey, thanks for my podcast. Podcast is available on your podcast on Podbean, Spotify, with Apple Podcasts. I'm also iHeartRadio. I'm live on my Twitch account, Sean Green 8. I'm also live on my YouTube channel, the Sean Green Show. Let me like and subscribe for more people. Hey, you have a blessed, blessed day. Don't forget to, don't forget to pick up my book, Park City Volume 2, which is on sale right now at um, Amazon. You have a blessed, blessed day. That's a day for real. I'm going to say this. Cowboy stink. Damn, the cowboy stink. Jesus. Cowboy stink. Mm-hmm.